I know I said I would stay away for a week or two, but A, I said you guys may expect me sooner than you think in a comment that I made to my mom on the video, and we have gotten so many trailers that I cannot stay still! Dude, we gotta talk about this special announcement time! As you guys have seen from the title, the Mario Bros movie has been added to the Cinematic 7, making it the Cinematic 8. So, Mario is now the official 8th member. And I know that a lot of you guys may be like, Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you out of your mind? Because when we got the trailer for this movie, I'm pretty sure a lot of people probably had this reaction. What am I looking at? But I saw the trailer and I loved it. Also, thank you movie scenes and Loki and Gal almost too dark for you for these two movie clips. And um, just so you know, aside from my voice and my face, none of this is mine. I own none of this, because this trailer from the Mario Bros comes from Universal Pictures Canada, and thank you very much for this trailer. It makes my whole video making process a lot easier, so thank you all you guys, and let's get right into this trailer breakdown. Holy cow, I hope I don't crack up. So you rock, Mario. I'm there with you guys, and let's go! So... First, we see this frozen ice palace. It almost looks like, um, that, the, uh, Jabba the Hutt's hut, basically. The, uh, the palace. And then, stinking meteors fall out of the sky, for the love of Pete! And then we find out that these meteors are being rained down from Bowser's flying kingdom! Holy cow! And it even has stick and maces for anchors! Holy cow, this dude means business. This is just sick. And the guy even starts to tear down the ice palace like they're just a bunch of igloos. Uh, you know what? Actually, I don't think these are pa the palace. I think that these are just like, you know, like watchtowers. And he's just like crushing them like, oh, they're teeth. Oh my gosh, I'm realizing a whole lot as I'm doing this video. Oh my gosh. These right here are teeth, and they're, like, chomping down on <laughs> the watchtowers. Oh, my gosh, that is sick. We then get the Turtle Army, which, if you guys have played the games, which I've played the Nintendo game, these guys are the bad guys. And then we get a stinking wizard that pops out of some purple mist. And then the wizard says something like, Behold the king of the... Koopahas, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly, which I have no stinking idea who these guys are, but I mean, hey, they're turtles, so they're the bad guys. We then get this, this sick shot of Bowser walking through fire! He then jumps down, we see his tail, and holy cow, this guy's got armor. He's like a turtle dragon. He walks through, and these guys are obviously afraid of him. He cries out to whoever is left inside the palace, Open the gates! The gates open, and then we get my favorite part! The penguins! Oh my gosh, these guys are awesome! The king sounds the alarm for attack, and then they just start throwing snowballs at the guy. They even have a stick of ice balls! The stick and ice catapult, which whacks a turtle right in the face! Shoot him! Oh my gosh, these guys are <laughs> absolutely hilarious, and I love them. And after the King Penguin uh, ceases the attacks, he says in a very elegant, mannerly voice, That is but a taste of our fury. Do you yield? <laughs> this guy is just awesome! I love it! I love the penguins! Which really brings me down <laughs> when it comes to this next part. The penguin battalion then gets ready to attack again, and then Bowser says with a chuckle, I do not. And then the wizard just owns the penguins, and the penguins are captured, and the entire ice palace gets burned to the ground. Why? Because apparently Bowser is seeking the star. Now again, 
if you have played the Mario and Nintendo games, if you collect this little guy, the star, it makes Mario absolutely invincible. You can run through Goombas, Turtles, and you cannot die. So, I mean, the fact that Bowser has gotten the his hold on the star, this could possibly mean that now Bowser is absolutely impenetrable. As if it wasn't so already! I mean, come on! A stinking turtle shell with spikes? Dude! Now, Bowser said that he has finally found it. So, I mean, obviously, the guy has been in search of the star for a very, very long time. And, oh my gosh, then he says, now who's gonna stop me? So, yeah, with this star, he feels invincible and as he says now who's gonna stop me the star surges and he absorbs his power probably and then the man himself mario gets shot out of a tube into the mushroom world uh and the fact that chris pratt is voicing mario that's just enough for me to like it already and you gotta admit the world looks pretty dang sick so Mario is absolutely bewildered because he takes a look around and he has no idea where he is. So all of these levels, so to speak, that he's going to experience in this movie are going to be completely uncharted and new to him. He then reaches out his hand for this blue mushroom, but then a character named Toad jumps out of the blue and says, Don't touch that mushroom, you'll die! And then <laughs> he completely misunderstands and uh, corrects his mistake. Because then he says, oh, never mind, this one's perfectly fine. Because, okay, can we just all agree that if they do not have one scene where Mario eats a mushroom and then goes like all Ant-Man and gets like huge, would be a total missed opportunity if they did not do this. And the way they dressed up Toad, I mean, this is a accurate costume from what I've seen from uh, the games that he has been in, but he kind of looks like Aladdin or something. <laughs> the two then set off for the Mushroom Kingdom, and Mario says, Mushroom Kingdom, here we come! And we can obviously see, holy cow, there is a whole residence here! Because, I mean, look at this, there's the palace, which kind of actually looks like Princess Peach's palace, but most likely, Bowser is gonna kidnap her, and I have a theory that maybe Princess Peach is the queen of the Ice Palace. I mean, I would just love to see more Penguin content in the next trailer and basically throughout the entire movie. We can see little houses everywhere. I would not be surprised if people actually lived inside the mushrooms. I mean, anything can happen in this. The official logo. And then Luigi in the stinger is just running away from these ghost turtles. And he runs inside the castle and totally blocks them from coming in. Now, these turtles, as you can kind of see here and right here, they are all skeletons with gloves. They are just, I mean, so obviously... No doubt about it, this is a part where they're probably going to introduce a villain from this weird Halloween game that they did with Luigi fighting ghastly ghosts. They're probably going to have King Boo inside that castle. Now, who is King Boo? Uh, he's basically the king of the ghosts in Mario World. So, I mean, but then you have Bowser. How can you do that? Well, I mean, in the Jungle Book, you had Shere Khan, Ka, and King Louis. So as long as he's, like, only in, like, one or two scenes, he wouldn't even be classified as a secondary antagonist, more like an obstacle that the characters have to face in order to get to, so to speak, the next level. And then we see that this trailer is going to be... <laughs> actually make a lot of sense so i'm trying to say what i'm just trying to say is this movie is going to release on april 7th of this year and one trailer breakdown one go one part let's go we did it we finally did a trailer breakdown in only one part so yeah that was a pretty relatively short trailer and a long video so thank you guys for watching and thank you all 
so much for sticking with me. I know I've said a lot of things in the past, but they didn't happen. But, I mean, hey, it's me. Anything can happen. So just future preference, just expect anything to happen from me. So... That's basically it, and uh, thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe to the Dragon Clan family so you don't miss out on my future giveaways, videos, and updates. So, thank you guys for watching, and make sure to give this video a like if you're a huge fan of Mario and are looking forward to seeing the Mario Super Mario movie as much as I am. I am definitely going to want to see that movie. So, respectful all you guys out there. Peace out. Or however that theme goes. I think that's how it goes. <laughs> Peace out, guys.